This is Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. Before I get started, this channel is all about bettering yourself, talking about faith, talking about uh, prosperity, talking about living your dreams, talking about having the love you truly desire. I talk about having a healthy mental um, health. Also about how therapy helps you. I even venture off into NACA about owning your own home and oh, so much more. Sometimes I do tributes to celebrities or people in my personal life. All oh, this channel is all about just bettering yourself. If you like what I have said, please hit that like button, hit subscribe. Today I want to talk about shaky faith. Um... I'm dipping into that because I notice a pattern. As long as the bills are paid, all the ducks are lining up, everything is good. Sometimes some of our faith is high. But when, unfortunately, someone passes away, we lose our job, our marriage ends, we start blaming God. Um, you all would not imagine how many times I've heard people say this. I'm mad at God. I feel like God don't love me. God did this. Why did God let this happen? I'm mad at God. So I come from, and again, my channel, these are all my opinions. I'm never saying I am right, but this is how I view God. And when things don't go right for me, I'm not mad at God per se. I'll I'll question some stuff. You know, like, I wonder why this happened, God. Uh, but really being mad at him, I have to say I'm not. Uh, this is another thing I'll say. I'm Okay, I might not understand this, God, but I'm trusting you. That's kind of how I phrase it. Because I feel like God doesn't need me. I truly, truly depend and need him. It's an honor that I have a relationship with God. It's an honor that I know about faith. I give credit, huge credit to Dorothy Jean Walker, who is my late mom. As a five-year-old, she put a Bible in my hand from my sister and I, the children's Bible. And ever since then, I've been reading it. I began reading at a very young age. I was in a gifted program in case you're like five, but yeah. Five years old, uh, six, or maybe five or six. I can't remember. It's many moons ago now, <laughs> 50 years ago almost. So um, that's my faith with God. Uh, have, have I been frustrated? Yeah, but I don't question. We don't want to have, um, well, I do question things, but I'm not mad. Let me say it like that. We do uh, want to have humility. We want to be grateful. Now, if somebody passes away, God forbid, a young person, period, or your parent, who's not going to question God? Like, why did my parent have to go? Or why, you know, did this young person have to leave? Or somebody dies violently? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Who doesn't question that? Because even I just, you know, I have a hard time with those type of deaths. Um, but sometimes when stuff goes wrong... How are we involving God and and, and, minute, and little bitty stuff? Like, I think you got a little more to do than to worry about why your dress did not arrive in time for your function. Stuff like that. Why God let this happen? Why why we didn't get this? And why, you know, why? It's like all this stuff is going wrong. Well, I know you all know, and especially if you're over the age of 40, 50, life is tough guys you know this is not a gloom and doom podcast but I just want to be real um it can get tough I talked to uh, a young lady she's probably 25 last year when I was getting my apartment something was happening I went to the leasing office and she looked so like conflicted I said are you okay and she was like oh I'm just um frustrated about paying rent so I'm assuming she had just moved out and I said okay I'm looking like Oop. um and then she said I, just, I said I kind of was talking to her and I said I don't want to tell you this but it kind of gets worse 
you know, not trying to make her feel bad, but I wanted to prepare her. Being an adult, it's a lot. It's rent, it's um, utilities, it's your car note, your car insurance, your health care, um, your credit cards, upkeep of your car, upkeep of your dental, upkeep of your physical, like, it's a lot of stress. You throw in a spouse and a child or two and a pet and work. Um, life, adulting is tough. And what they say, life be life. In. So it, it only gets tougher. You have ailments come kicking in. And, you know, it doesn't have to be gloom or doom. But I want to paint a picture of reality. And, um, hey, it, it's tough out here in these streets. That's what I say. But with faith, you know, it's not going to always be, it's not all gloom and doom. It's a mixture of ups and downs. And unfortunately, regardless of your skin color, regardless of your gender, regardless of your celebrity status, regardless of your age or religion, bad stuff is going to happen. And we have to keep the faith. You can't be the double-minded believer if you want to believe and when you got money hitting your account you're like god is good but as soon as something go bad i'm mad at god that's a spoiled brat mentality yes people in the bible they were frustrated with god so it's it's normal but to just say why did god allow you know me not to get that apartment or why god didn't let me get that job i think he got a little bit more to do than to worry about you getting a job when it's 14 billion jobs out here, like, I think it's just unfair. I mean, do what you want. It's your, it's your faith walk. But I think if we trust and if we believe, we will receive. We really will. And, and I have put that to the test and it has worked for my life over and over. I always get on this channel and tell you all my story of being very ill with breast cancer twice and I'm here, you know, I'm here. And I, I it just keep I keep hearing about women that have lost their battle with breast cancer. Just heard the story a few days ago. Young, young, young lady. And that makes me so grateful because that could be me. And and I have to say that because that's why I talk like this. Because I know some people are like, what is she talking about? Or sometimes I feel unfair to others but I have to remember people didn't have the story I had and and once you lay down like I had to lay down and look up because I was so sick I couldn't get up from the chemo I couldn't raise my head off the pillow that makes you think differently because death is you know you feel I didn't feel like I was gonna die but I knew one one bad spread you know whatever it could be me. So it humbles you and it makes you have a different perspective. So I don't want to ever come off self-righteous or like I'm better because I'm not. But I just went through something that shook me. But all of us have something. You, you, you know, I talk to a lot of people, not only clients, and they tell me their story of molestation. They tell me their story of abuse. They tell me their story of how they had to go without. Those are all testimonies that show you you are stronger than you truly believe because you came out on the other side. Whenever you come out on the other side, you got to have faith. Don't be the spoiled brat person that thinks you're going to get everything you want. So many people get everything they want. They want. Quite a few, believe it, more than not everything, but the, a lot of stuff go their way. And they are the most miserable people on earth. Pay attention right now to people. It's a lot of mental stuff going on. People are unhappy. They're selfish. They're self-absorbed. They're not checking on people no more, you know. And, and I'll say like, man, I don't have any kids. I just told my niece this. I don't have any kids. I get older. Who's going to take care of me? And she was like, well, I got all boys. Boys can tend to not be as caring as girls. She said, I wish I had one girl. And it makes you think about all that stuff. And um, some people have kids. They have three, four kids. And, and they grow older and need them. Not one will step up. So 
we really don't know, you know, you don't know how your life is going to go. You could have kids, you can get married, you can have a big house, you can have a fancy car and commit suicide. How many times you hear that? Somebody just recently committed suicide. Um, might be a politician here. Yeah, it was something like that. He had did something fraudulent and he took his own life. I don't know if it was a politician. Yeah, it was a politician. I just don't know what he did. Like what was his role? But having stuff, it doesn't guarantee a good life. Sometimes the most humble people who who make $50,000, live in a small, quaint home, have two kids and their spouse, and, you know, it's not all about money, but they really, they really stretch their funds and do a lot of free stuff and have a, they're happy. So um, keep the faith, even when things don't go your way, even when you don't get that house you really wanted or the one you love, he, he or she wants to end it. Keep your faith. Don't let that rock you, you know. Yeah, if you I, it, get upset. I get upset. I, I get upset. I get it. But don't stay there. And don't, don't throw your faith in the toilet because something didn't go your way. The beautiful thing about faith is if you really trust and believe, God blocks stuff. God blocks stuff from us. He knows what's best for us. We don't. You got to remember, he's omnipotent, omnipresent. He knows everything. So we think we want one, two, three, but he's trying to give you four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He goes way further than us. We we are human. We're in the flesh. We see what we see, which is not very far ahead. He sees way ahead. He was like, no, Tammy, daughter, I don't want you to have that. That would not be good for you. And my listeners, no listener, no, he doesn't want you to have that. That would not be good for you. Sometimes if we end up with some things, it would take us away from this earth. It would kill us. I've been in some relationships that affected my health. The, the thing was so toxic, I became ill. That's how toxic it was. Pay attention. I, I, I'm seeing things where people are so codependent on each other that if, they, if that person passes away, God forbid, or leaves them, they're going to fall apart. You never want to be that codependent on another human being. It's not healthy. Love is love. I love heart too. And when I love somebody, they are a blessed man because I'm saying romantic. I go hard in the paint. I love hard. I love very hard. But they are not my everything. I remember when we broke up and <laughs> I'll just say my guy, that's my new term. He said, I'm not happy. I can't make you happy. I said, but you don't make me happy. <laughs> I'm already happy without you. You add to my happiness, but I don't depend on you to smile, baby. Sorry, I can't do that because I would be without peace. Don't give nobody your everything. Don't give them that. They gonna they could disappoint you. Yes, I believe in love. I don't know about soulmates. I think we can have many matches. That's how I look at it. Some match better than others. I believe in love, but I don't believe in it's making somebody my world. It's just not going to happen. It's not healthy. All righty. Keep the faith. Even when things are, are not going your way, doesn't mean they're not going to turn around. The day has just started. You don't know what beautiful thing is going to happen. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Can't say that enough. Tammy C. Signing off. Bye.